Howdy, Possum Patty here, and this is a Come Journal With Me episode of my new Halloween journal. Okay, it's Halloween journal, but that doesn't mean everything is going to be exactly like Halloween. Because you know I love to mash things up. I started my journal. I did not finish the cover yet. But I did put some material on the spine. And I wanted it to be Gryffindor colors with the red and the gold to match the HP on the front. And I had cut some paper just to start off a couple of signatures. And I did one page already. So I came across, I was cleaning out my organizer. You might have seen that in the video yesterday. And I did get some of the things put away, but I'm not done yet. I told Mr. Possum, It'll probably take three days for me to get through everything to get it organized. Anyway, I found this card. It's a birthday card to Mr. Possum from me. And I got it because it was funny and I had a possum on the front. And I found this picture of me being Possum Patty leading a group of, uh, these were preschoolers at the conservatory's property. And I do have part of a brochure that says Possum Patty, Nature Play and Explorations. Got nature journaling on the back. And this brochure just explains some of the programs that I used to do with the kids. So, Somehow, somewhere, I want to use my possum. Well, that would fit good on this page. I could just go ahead and do something boring, like make a pocket and put my picture in it. But what else do you do with a funny card, right? We'll cover that up. Hmm. Let me see if I can think of something interesting to put here. So I cut out my little cousin Daryl here with his possum that he was taken to the picnic barbecue. And I have this image from one of those books I was ripping up the other day. I love this rusty old scounce, I guess it is for a candle. A little bird skeleton there couple of wizards paraphernalia in the background and it kind of looks like maybe he wants to add the possum to the pot right the pot the pot where he's brewing up a potion and I love this, this is from my day of the dead pack it's got some animals and some sugar skulls and I think I will cut this down, and this is going to be a very busy page, and put that on there, and maybe put Cousin Daryl in there. And then somewhere I will find a spot for me, or maybe my cute little possum. So people ask me, how did I get the name... Possum Patty. And it is, it is like a trail name. Because I got a job as an environmental educator for Conservation District. And I had just started working there. And I was 
on my first event and that was a environmental day out for the school kids and of course all the all the rangers were there the game commission fish and boat army corps of engineer rangers watershed specialists and everybody had a program to do Mine was down by the water. About macroinvertebrates. Well, anyway, so I didn't know anybody. I was new. So at lunchtime, while the kids were having their lunch, all the presenters got together and we had our lunch. And so I introduced myself to everybody. Hey, my name is Patty. I'm the new environmental educator for the Conservation District. And the first thing they said was, Oh no, there's already a Pat who works for the Conservation District, who's the environmental educator in the county that was right next door. And sometimes the programs overlapped between the two counties. And his trail name was Porcupine Pat. So they said, oh, we're going to mix you two up. We're not going to be able to tell you apart. We need to come up with a trail name for you. So I was like, well, okay. I didn't know what to say at that point. I said, okay, sure, fine. You can give me a trail name. So they talked about it during the entire lunchtime, which was not that long, probably 30 minutes. And then they came up with, after trying several other names, Possum Patty. So now there was a Porcupine Pat and a Possum Patty. And they kind of like that. So when I got back to the office, I told the assistant manager that I was working for at the conservation district that I now had a new name and my name was Possum Patty. And she said, sounds like something off the Roadkill Cafe menu. I'll have a Possum Patty on a sesame seed bun with lettuce and tomato. But it stuck. So then I was Possum Patty. So then somebody asked, well, where did the pencil, pencil vania come from? And this was when I was living in Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania. And I took a course with online school called Sketchbook School, S-K-O-O-L, Sketchbook School. And one of the co-founders, Danny Gregory, and he's written several books on sketching, and I can list those below. So I took a couple of these classes online, and then one day I saw that Danny Gregory was going to be giving a lecture over at the university in Kutztown, which was not that far from the house, from where I lived. And public were invited to go. So I went over and I got there a little early. I got there a little early and there was a mix up in the rooms in which room that uh, Danny was going to be presenting in. So Danny got there a little early too. So we were just kind of hanging out while they were setting everything up in the room and this was mostly for like the students. And so the young people were kind of, you know, 
wandering in, taking their seats, and I was talking to Danny, and I showed him my sketchbook, because I did bring my sketchbook with me. So he was just standing there, and we're talking, and he's looking through my sketchbook, and he was very, very nice. He went through every page in my stepbook, every page in my sketchbook, and made some comments here and there. And then he asked me what my name was. I introduced myself. I said it was Patty. And we were in Pennsylvania. And so he said, oh, Patty from Pennsylvania. So Patty from Pennsylvania is actually my sketchbook name. And Possum Patty is my nature journalist environmental educator trail name. So when I retired and I'm doing sketchbooking and art journaling and nature journaling and everything all together, I mashed the two names together. So it is now Possum Patty from Pennsylvania. And that just shows you how I mash up my art journaling, my sketchbook, my junk journaling, and everything else with my nature journaling. And that is where Possum Patty from Pennsylvania comes from. So this is going to kind of be like one of those glue pages. Now I'm just making this a little smaller. I want to see a little bit of a rippy edge here and I want to stick my possum I want him to go a little bit behind this skull here this bird skull That is one mean looking possum. Possums are the only marsupial that live in North America. And that means they have live babies, but then they carry them around in their pouch till they're old enough to start crawling around on their own just like a kangaroo. And they have more teeth than any mammal in North America. I think they have like 50 teeth. Okay, I think I'm going to add the words from that page, Masters of Forbidden Arts. Sort of covering up all my skulls, though. And I can move it over here, so at least I see one there. A couple of them down there. Like a little glue page. I do have to get together some packs of swapping glues for some people who are interested in doing some swapping glues. Okay, give me a minute to glue all this down and then figure out where I'm going to put the picture of me. Okay, I glued some of this skull paper to the back of the picture 
And now I am ripping out what well, says Possum Patty, Nature Play and Explorations. And I will probably put that on there. But let's see, can I add anything else to this? I'm going to go in the pocket like that. may want to put some color around the edge here. And, hmm. Stand by. Okay, I decided to de-stress this in pink. Because this is possum pink, my favorite color, right? And I could probably put just a little around here. This is stays on. And the color is fuchsia. But really it's possum pink. Mm. Uh oh, there's my clock. Morning dove o'clock. Okay, I'm going to glue that on there. I'm going to distress this brown paper bag. And I may sew a little tab on here. I think I'm going to go with this Sugar Skull Ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Because I am trying to bust my Dollar Tree Halloween stash. And I am just going to trim this down and make a little pull. And there it is. In the pocket, I have my possum patty, my sugar skull tab, distressing in possum pink, possum patty in action. And sort of like a glue page effect. Masters of Forbidden Arts. I like it. I like it. I like it. And this is going into my new Halloween journal. I believe it was over here. Yep. Okay, I've been wanting to put that in a journal for a long time. And I've got that accomplished. So thanks for coming along today. Happy Halloween journaling. Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.